made by uh, Reverend Horton Heat. Okay, this is the view of Scatter Breaker. That's Scatter underscore Breaker, as you see there in the title. But Scatter Breaker on YouTube is spelled more like that. All one word, Scatter Breaker hyphen the man from 1976. That's not what it says here. Let me just see. Uh, Oh. This is what keeps happening. It just goes to this. And then... And it looks like... Oh, yeah, it's got the line, so... Oh, it's That's where this one is. This is what keeps happening. It just goes to this. And then... Oh, you know what? It looks like, oh, yeah, it's got the reverse line, so. Now this will be me videotaping my, this stream, that's where this one is. This is what keeps happening. This goes to this, and then, oh, you know what? And it looks like, oh, yeah, it's got the reverse line, so. Now this will be me videotaping this stream is where this one is. You know what keeps happening? This goes to the rest. And then, oh, you know what? It looks like, oh, yeah, it's got the rest of the time. And this will be a new... Okay, I'm going to stop this in a second. So it's just like looping in on itself. So you can hear the tinniness in the sound. Okay, let's stop this. That's it. So it's just like looping in on itself. So you can hear the tinniness in the sound. So just like looping in on With new Magnum ice cream mm. duets, your moment of. Okay, so. Um, what I am doing is. I am at. Uh, I'm, I just finished everything everywhere all at once, so I feel like this kind of like um, format is somewhat um, appropriate to it. Oh, but what I wanted to actually get, and then I lost it. Um, the stream just. You know, it stopped streaming, basically, on the Scatterbreaker one. I had some sort of, like... Oh, I think I did get it on video, though. So, uh, it had some sort of, like, um, offer or something to, like, have 10 viewers. I, I don't really understand what that's all about. But, um, but I'm going live on the Scatterbreaker as well because... Um, even though it hasn't worked and it keeps, like, stopping... Um, it's actually going to be at one twenty-three a.m. And I just hope... Oh, yeah. I was just hoping that that would come back on, so... Okay, so I'm going to start this. Okay, and once again, I'm going to... Reverse this and reverse this. 
So I think the better view is actually going to be... Let's see. I think it's better if Scatter Breaker is facing in and Scatter Brothers is facing out like that. Oops. But I might just have them both like kind of going both ways, you know. So, um, or actually, uh, what I mean is I'll probably have this going this way as well while that one's going that way so but anyway so I am glad that I, I saw everything everywhere all at once again on the big screen and uh, I really recommend you see it on the big screen if you, if you haven't yet Certain scenes that just like work real, real nice on the big screen, and I think wouldn't work as well on a smaller screen. But also with the sound, of course, you know, as we always talk about. So anyway, so go see everything everywhere all at once on the big screen. Uh, it's worth a second viewing if you have already seen it. Um, if you want to see a lot of movies, get the Regal Unlimited Pass because you can just keep doing it, you know? Uh, you might as well, right? I mean, what's the point of not doing it, right? Oh, and uh, this is Evil, uh, Evil Living Dead by the, uh, by the crewman. If I could get a little bit of a... Oh, okay. Okay. So, for a second here, I'm going to have both on the road, at least. And then we'll talk maybe a little bit.
Oh, it's not clear on one of the titles. This is Bloodshot Bill Rodeo, or Radio, on Pandora, or Pandora Rodeo. Oh, there you Standard by Charlie Feathers from the complete King recording. This is Pinch Me by Bloodshot Bill from the So Blue album. Scatterbrothers on the right and Scatterbreaker on the left. I think it was the opposite way earlier. So, um, 
Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so I never did actually check that other uh, like um, that other uh, video. As I said, I was last time I talked. I think on the scatter underscore breaker channel, on the scatter scatter breaker channel on Twitch. Um, I think I uh, said I was going to talk about the uh, perfect timings or whatever, and th there have been a couple in this one, I think, sort of a little bit, maybe, where the music kind of goes with what's happening on the road or whatever. And I feel like, um, so I should maybe put on the title for this one is, these as well, besides just Bloodshot Bill Rodeo and or Pandora Rodeo with the Blood... Bloodshot Bill as an artist. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, um, like, like, besides that title, I should put that there were a couple of perfect timings, but then I would have to figure out, like, where those timings happened, and, uh, and then, and then, you know, so if it is a long video, it, it, it makes it more difficult to use the perfect timings, um, designation in the title because it's just kind of weird you know it's like uh, there's a lot to uh, go through you know there's a lot of video to go through in that case so. but, I know black but, um, okay. so I'm doing a little bit of the, uh, so the road footage is on Scatter Breaker now and Scatter Brothers is facing this way so and I will try to combine these videos if they're both live. Um, I'm going to try to combine them on uh, Scatterbreaker, the man from 1976 on YouTube. So check out other combo videos there. And uh, I'm not talking a whole lot about everything everywhere all at once because I already did the full review. But, oh, there was one thing, though, that I did want to mention, actually, now that I think about it. Um, oh, and this is a mystery train, I believe, right? Uh, by uh, Elvis. Um... There was one thing I wanted to mention about everything, everywhere, all at once, and it, w and it will be a spoiler, so just to let you know, I think, well, it's not really a spoiler, it's more like an emotional spoiler, or like um, a revelation uh, that I had the second time I viewed it, that had to do with the emotion of the, uh, of the movie, or the, the uh, philosophical aspect of the movie, or... I don't even really know what you would call it, so it's almost like a philosophical spoiler, or a, or a, or a, uh, what, oh, conceptual spoiler, maybe? Uh, like, something that the movie's about, that you don't know it's about, before you go in to see it on the big screen, you know? So in that way, it's a spoiler, but it's not, it's not a spoiler in the sense that, um, well, I'll just get right to it, so... It's, it's, yeah, it's not even, yeah, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't get to it, I should let people know what kind of spoiler it is, so they can make a choice about whether they're gonna, uh, stop watching or whatever. Um, it is a, uh, spoiler that has to do with the way that I perceived the character feeling at a certain time, while, uh, during the course of the movie, like, at this particular moment... I'll just say it like this. I, in fact, I'll, I'll be very general about it, so you don't even know who I'm talking about, I think. And then it won't be a spoiler at all, anyway. So, um, so at some point where the, 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 the character gets kind of broken, or their timeline is broken, or no, no, their, their multiversal self, was broken, and, I, and you know already that this is about a multiversal thing, right? So, um, oh, so, oh, I think I skipped, I, okay, um, well, that was Pulse and Prison Blues by Johnny Cash, I don't know what version, this is, um, Uranium Rock by The Cramps, um, and before it's over, I'm gonna try to actually, like, get video of it. So that if anything's silenced, I'll know what song silenced it. In fact, I should have gotten that Johnny Cash one just in case, but... Um, anyway. So I think this is a live version, actually, of Uranium Rock by the Cramps. Uh, but anyway, so... Um, oh yeah, so on Everything Everywhere All at Once, 
at some point where the character has kind of broken her mind, I guess, into the, uh, into the multiversal whatevers, then he, um, feels the pain of every, or pain and joy and all that stuff of every character. And I used she and he, like, interchangeably there so that you would know which one, uh, what kind of character it is or, like, who it is or... It's just to throw you off as far as... So that's not, like, a spoiler, right? So... And from now on, I'll just say he or she or she or he or whatever. Um, but, uh... Yeah, when this character realizes that, like... That they are existing everywhere kind of like, or in every aspect of themselves or something, right? Um, that they are feeling, oh, you know what? I don't even know if I know what the point is I was going to try to make. It's almost like it only made sense while I was watching the movie. This idea that I had only made sense maybe while I was watching the movie, or I've got a horrible memory and I don't know exactly what my idea was while I was watching it that I wanted to talk about. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's almost like one of those things, it's like on the tip of your tongue or tip of your brain or, um, weird. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I think I was going to say that the character... I need to write it down next time I see it, actually. Once again, I missed the very beginning, actually, and I kept wondering throughout it. I, I wonder if I've even seen the beginning yet, you know? If any of the times that I've gone to see it, if I've been on time to see the very beginning. But I think so. And it kind of starts... Well, so, yeah, I can't really say for sure how it starts or, like, if it's okay to show up late or whatever. But it does seem to get into it a little bit later into it, like, the actual action and the whole storyline, I think, is... But I feel like there's some important things that maybe happen at the beginning that kind of happen throughout it or that you kind of see throughout it. Um, so you do probably want to catch the beginning just in case. You know, I'm going to say <laughs> you probably do, even though I've never done it myself. Um, but um, you know what? I'm going to have to think on this a little bit more. Like it has something to do with if she were or he were or she he or he, she were, were going through this multiversal break, they would, I think this is Poor Me by Bloodshot Bill, yeah, um, yeah, no, you know what, I, I thought if I started talking about it again, I would, I would remember what I was going to say about it. I really don't uh, know. That's really crazy. And I totally thought that I knew when I first um, when I first started talking about this. I thought I knew what I was going to be talking about. Okay, so this is "Poor Me" by Bloodshot Bill, and I'm just going to skip it back to to show. Oh, I can't do that on Pandora. So it was "Uranium Rock" by uh, The Cramps. Uh, it was Uranium Rock by the Cramps, and then before that was, um, oh, Folsom Prison Blues, another version of Folsom Prison, Prison Blues by Johnny Cash, but I don't know whether, like, the other one uh, came out or not, so. Uh, oh, if, if I, if I, yeah, I think so. I think Pinch Me was before that by Bloodshot Bill, but I think I got video of it. I hope so. Anyway. I'm going to turn the volume back on so that if it does silence, hopefully it didn't silence this part where I'm just talking right now, so that I know what I was saying later. Oh, in fact, why am I even, why, why am I doing that? Okay, so Scatterbreaker's still facing the other way, but Scatterbrothers is facing this way. Okay, um, so, so yeah, I'm going to put on Poor Me by Bloodshot Bill, and I'm going to do a little feedback now. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is 
just got our breaker. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the feedback thing. Okay, ready? I won't be talking during this part. Howling by the Delta Bombers. I'm looking at Scatterbreak. Scott Brothers again. Okay, so now we know that's a good place to end it, right? So I'm looking at Scatter Brothers. I'm looking at Scatter Breaker one more time. And I'm going to end this uh, these shows, but the thing is, I, I think since we're live, um, it's not, it's like a little bit behind. It's like a little, little delayed. So I need to, um, I need to uh, like wait a little while, so so the show will go on, but it's only because I'm trying to get up to this point before actually ending the streams. So but anyway, yeah, these uh, this is kind of like how I do a combo in case like one of those one of these videos is not live. Then I feel like I could still call it a combo video if I combined. You know, if I like, kind of did this feedback thing where each video is seeing the other or whatever. But um, I think that these both are live right now, so I think I will be able to actually combine them on Scatterbreaker the Man from 1976 on YouTube. And I'm just going to actually check real quick on the chats to see if there's anything there. No. <laughs> So if somebody wanted to chat, I, I'd be up for that. But um, but if nobody wants to chat, then I just got to scat, you know. So um, so I'm gonna end the show, and um, and then these videos will be combined hopefully soon on Scatterbreaker the Man from 1976 on YouTube, and check out other combo videos there. I've finished a couple and put them on there. I probably didn't edit them enough, but try to bear with it, you know. <laughs> Uh, and let me know what you think and like what areas need to be cut or whatever, you know. If somebody wanted to edit my videos for me, like I would I would I would give you the access to to <laughs> to, uh, to to get the video and, and edit it to where it would actually be an okay video or whatever. I d I don't even know. Like maybe they are okay videos. I don't like my art, I don't like my videos, I don't like you know, pretty much oh so 
you know, this movie actually really spoke to me is what one thing I'm going to say about it uh, that I may not have mentioned in other, the uh, past reviews is that it's really about someone who hasn't really made much of their life, but they've tried so many things. And I think that's kind of like exactly where I am right now in my life. So it's, so this movie really kind of spoke, speaks to me anyway. So, but uh, maybe, maybe it speaks to a lot of people and maybe, maybe there are a lot of people like that out there. And, and I would like to find out, you know, I would like to know that other people have the same problems that I do as far as like, you know, getting things done and knowing what you really want to do, you know, like, I hope that that's something that, I mean, I don't hope that on anyone. I don't like it for myself. So, but I just hope that if somebody was feeling that way, that they would also, you know, let me know so that I know that I'm not alone in that, you know what I'm saying? And then also you would know that you're not alone in that too. So, um, so that's all I mean by like, you know, I hope, you know, when I said I hope, yeah, that's, anyway, so I'm just going off the rails here, so, uh, yeah, check it out, comment on Scatter Brothers, which is all one word, the way that Scatter Breaker is on YouTube, and the way that it is in the titles, Scatter Breaker is all one word, Scatter Brothers is all one word on Twitch, but on Scatter, on Twitch, Scatter Breaker's channel is Scatter underscore Breaker, unfortunately, so, so I'm going to call that scatter unfortunately, uh, unfortunately underscore breaker on, uh, on Twitch. And then uh, scatter break with no underscore on YouTube. Hyphen the man from 1976. All right. And you need to, you need to probably type in all that in order to find that, that channel because I did, you know, like I need to, yeah. 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 I think if I just work on the tags, it'll work. It'll, it'll, it'll it'll make it more easy to find. You could just type in Scatterbreaker and find it, you know? Maybe even type in Scatter and find it, you know? Like, I need to just tag it with Scatter so that you find it that way. And Scatter and Breaker is two separate words. Like, I, why, why haven't I done that? It's so weird. It's so weird. It's so weird, you know? Anyway, so this is 1.16 a.m. This is 1.23 a.m. So there would be, like, a seven-minute difference, right? This one started seven minutes earlier. Then this one, oh no, five minutes earlier. This one started five minutes earlier than this one. The CT doesn't mean anything. It would mean car time, but in this case, it's actually real time. So the RT is correct on the Scatter Brothers one. Um, otherwise, it's Bloodshot, not Bloodshot Book Radio, Rodeo like on this. It's Bloodshot Bill Rodeo, Radio, Radio on the Road, Rodeo, you know. Uh, yeah, and this one is correct, 1.23 a.m. But the CT is not correct. It's really actually real time on Bloodshot Bill, Pandora, Rodeo. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I should, I should just, I should just point at it when I'm doing it. Like, okay, so this one is Scatter, Scatter Breaker, 1.23 a.m. That's correct. CT is not correct. Should be RT or real time on Bloodshot Bill, Pandora, Rodeo. Okay. And then, um, and then this one, Scatter Brothers, Scatter Breaker, 118 AM, correct? RT is, a, is correct. Oh yeah, and this other one should say, Scatter Breaker's one should say 628.22 B, right? Yes, because there's a five minute difference. Um, and this, and then the, back to the Scatter Brothers one, it should say, yeah, 62822A, part 1A, Bloodshot Bill Rodeo is what that, that should say. That's the only thing that's wrong with that one, actually, is the book should be Bill. And I probably put too many, uh, too many A's in there. <laughs> like, part A, part A, part A. Part A. It's time to party. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I am ending the show. I am truly putting everyone out of their misery. And myself, because, uh, 